Well, good morning, babies. Good evening, good afternoon, whenever you find this message. Hi. Hi, cuties. Hi, pumpkin nuts. <laughs> Hi, pickles. <laughs> Hi, pickles. This is a general message, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Whenever you find it, it is also the right time, because it is timeless. Please use your own discernment and intuition. Do not force it. <laughs> Spit on it first. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> um, <clears throat> also, I will never reach out to you for a uh, personal reading. I am not doing them right now. And I would not do it in the comments like that. Beloved, I sense a dark witch in a mirror in your house. Contact me on my WhatsApp. I don't do that, okay? <laughs> I don't even use WhatsApp, so am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> Hi. So the channeled message that I got, or channeled song I got, is um, <clears throat> All of These Years by The Still Woods. <laughs> Where have I been? All of these years, I woke up to screams, living in the mirror. Where have I been? All of these years, it's red, white, and blue, still blood, sweat, and tears. Is red, white, and blue still blood, sweat, and tears? Where have I been? All of these years, I should have died when I disappeared. Where have I been? All of these years, I realize that clear eyes can't shed a tear. God help us all in our search for the truth. Nothing makes you old like holding on to youth. What keeps me young and long in the tooth? It's a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, and a little bit of the blues. In the lost and found running from the fear, I realize I come around when my eyes are clear. God help us all in our search for the truth. Nothing makes you old like holding on to youth. What keeps me young and long in the tooth is a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, and a little bit of the blues. It's a fun song. It's all like... I don't know. <laughs> but what I'm getting from that is like, <clears throat> what can keep you like young and not like bogged down? So let's see about it, huh? For one, I'm seeing cleanse your energy. You might be uh, feeling other people's emotions. So like cleanse your energy, do like um, the grounding and then like flushing your system um boundaries spiritual boundaries physical boundaries even if someone's a real energy vamp or someone's projecting on you you know that type of thing I should have died when I disappeared. Um, that's what, what I'm getting with that. It's like you making it through your dark night, you know? <laughs> I should have died, man. Shit. <laughs> <coughs> I realize that clear eyes can't shed a tear. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm still getting over being sick. I honestly hadn't coughed this whole this morning. And I've been up for an hour and a half. Damn, I gotta talk all soft. I can't yell anymore. <coughs> I like yelling. <coughs> oh my god, it's to tickle. Hold, please. <laughs> okay, okay. So, and I'm seeing that with like addictions. And like wallowing and really giving 
a lot of attention to like what has happened in the past like what has happened to you <clears throat> and you know diving into you know those addictions to numb the pain that type of thing but let's see what will keep the viewer youthful hmm? what will help them feel youthful Ooh, <laughs> king of swords in reverse let me get one more on that because i heard be a dick <laughs> <laughs> Where have I been all of these years? <clears throat> oh, be an asshole to the thoughts that are trying to, you know, cloud and kind of steal your sunshine, steal your um your high vibe, like kind of just kill the vibe, you know. With that three of wands in reverse. So we got the king of swords in reverse and the three of wands in reverse. That's telling me cut off and tell them no, fuck off, thought. <laughs> the T-H-O-T. The <laughs> Be gone, thought. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the <laughs> tell it be gone, thought. <clears throat> Let it pass through. And tell it to fuck off those negative thoughts because that's it's stealing your sunshine don't allow you know you're just trying when you're just <coughs> trying to have a good time you're having a good time you're present and then suddenly a thought comes in oh what if you did you remember to do this that's because it's trying to steal your sunshine it's trying to fuck with you because your boundaries are low when you're like present, you know, you, you weren't like thinking like, oh, I need to do this. Like, so it's like a reminder of like, while you're having fun, while you're doing, being extremely present, um, that's a good time to not let those thoughts come in and creep and like kill your vibe. Where have I been all of these years? What keeps the collective? my viewers my babies what keeps my babies long in the tooth so nine of pentacles and seven of swords somewhere where you can go be alone and like bask in your abundance and remind like go be at your house or go look in the mirror I woke up to screams, living in the mirror. <laughs> um, where... <coughs> I'm so sorry about the coughing. I feel fine. It's just I have this annoying cough. Uh, where can you go be in your own abundance, your own, like, go, go to your home and be like, damn, I did this. I decorated this place. I put this together I you know I made the money to buy that wow I did that like go like get in that gratitude of like and somewhere where you don't have to like be on edge because if you're like living with like a straight up demon like roommate or something or partner whatever parent <laughs> um they put you in this like defensive state and their thoughts like so once again going back to like you need to um cleanse your energy because you might be like feeling their energy their emotions that like worry their negative thoughts their concerns and <clears throat> that it like kills your vibe when you're just like high vibing because it comes in so getting away from these people and just going being in your own energy and like basking in this gratitude of like damn i did that hell yeah or, you know, looking in the mirror and be like, damn, I look hot as hell. My skin, my body grew these cells. Damn. Okay. Okay. Fuck yeah. So that's what it is. Yeah. Um, clearing your energy because you're picking up people's emotions and thoughts. And that's like killing your vibe. It's killing your vibe, man. Um. I'm liking this energy for this reading, though. It's fun. <clears throat> yeah, and with this Five of Swords in reverse at the bottom, somewhere where you don't have to be on defense, somewhere where you can just relax. 
uh, especially with it being stored, so that's like thoughts and words. <coughs> Somewhere you don't have to like think about, like just pick up on that shit. Oh my god! And we have the Empress under that. Somewhere you can be in your um, independence, your abundance, your like comfy, good feeling energy. With the Nine of Cups under that, and that's gonna help you manifest and bring in your wish fulfillments. <clears throat> oh my god and we have the two of cups underneath that so that's going to help you bring and understand like if you need to like work on anything that's good stuff's going to come up for you not what you're feeling from the i'm also i also heard mother from that so you might be like if your mom's like really anxious or like lack mentality that type of stuff and you go around her or your baby mama whatever um you're picking up their shit and um that's why you get those like anxious feelings thoughts and stuff like that it's actually not yours um and that's like why your your mood sh like plummets especially if that person like texts you or anything they might be like there might be a energetic cord that you need to sever so you can like call on like archangel michael archangel metatron um your spirit team most high that type of shit <laughs> to sever those energetic cords and then you seeing it leaving you and just you being in your own energy with the universe you know with most high pure source <clears throat> so you um that might need to be something because they might be picking up that you're in a good mood and they just like want to inject that they can feel like you need they they like want to inject that on you you also and this doesn't have to just be your mom. It just could be anyone that you're, like, really close with or around with. Like I said, you have a shitty <laughs> demonic roommate, <laughs> you know. Um, just living on karmic time. Uh, and we have all been karmic, so don't forget that. I used to be more chaotic. Really chaotic. <laughs> I used to yell and fight people. <laughs> um, where was I going with that? Oh, yes. Uh, so it, and putting that energetic cord, like cutting it, <coughs> will help um, with that because that person may also feel like, oh, well, they're in a good mood. and Or they just feel like triggered by you because you're like actually like a vibe and high and that like agitates their demons and they don't know what to do with it so they just project that upon you so that might be an energetic cord that you need to cut um and then it's just good to do that so people aren't siphoning your energy or um you know just projecting weird shit on you their lack mentality that type of stuff it's just good to do to cleanse your energy all the time and ground <clears throat> And I know a lot of you do that already, but it's just like, a, you know, it doesn't hurt to be reminded. Like, are you flossing regularly? Are you? Are you getting those pearly whites nice and shiny? Are you flossing, motherfuckers? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My computer, um... just start okay i'm gonna put that on mute like i usually have it oh my god uh, <laughs> well um lola by the kinks wants to come through <laughs> very well i met her in a club down in old soho <laughs> where you drink champagne it tastes like cola coca-cola C-O-L-A Cola She walked up to me and she asked me to dance I asked her her name and in a dark brown voice she said Lola L-O-L-A Lola La 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 Lola <laughs> Well I'm not the world's most physical guy But when she squeezed me tight she nearly broke my spine <laughs> Oh my Lola La 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 la. 
damn, I haven't heard the song in a minute, but it just like came to me <laughs> like the, it also just played like the first like few seconds, six seconds if exactly. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm not dumb, but I can't understand why she walks like a woman, but talks like a man. Oh, my Lola, la 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 Lola. Well, we drink champagne and we danced all night under electric candlelight. She picked me up and sat me on her knee. She said, little boy, won't you come home with me? <laughs> well, I'm not the world's most passionate guy, but when I looked in her eyes, well, I almost fell for my Lola. La 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 la. I pushed her away, I walked to the door, I fell to the floor, I got down on my knees. <laughs> well, I looked at her and she, at me, well, that's the way that I want it to stay. And I always want it to be that way for my Lola. <laughs> girls will be boys and boys will be girls. It's a mixed up, muddled up, shook up world, except for Lola. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's see what what's up with the... <clears throat> oh, yeah, so this is the Six of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Coins. Um, just not giving your energy to people that don't deserve it. <coughs> Who are coming with, you know... Dress like a woman, but talk like a man, you know? Like, they're not coming straight forward. Um, not being up straight. You know, coming with this trickster energy. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just taking that, the metaphor from the song. Like, not giving your energy and, like, folding to these people that, you know, they manipulate you, they try to send you like project their energy on you they try to make you feel like insecure or that type of stuff don't fall for that don't fall for the okie doke if you will <laughs> the old <laughs> bait and switch <laughs> um, oh yeah and we have the knaves of, knave of swords and the king of wands so this is telling me there's like a monitoring spirit and that could be a person also or just somebody watching you um but what you should do to make you feel insecure so um what you can do is just ask like your spirit team archangel michael archangel metatron all them all them folks most high your ancestors with your highest intentions uh ask all of them to block and remove all monitoring spirits from you and your space and anywhere you go <clears throat> and do it regularly because i'm getting that like this is my how this might be how people like spy on you they might be doing divination spying on you and this is how they like keep an eye and like know when to like send you some like weird ass vibes <coughs> to put you in this like insecure energy where you're not the king of wands upright, where you, you're creative, you're passionate, you're proud of your skills. And um, I'm also getting with that song coming in so like abrupt, uh, don't allow them, it's gonna feel like pushing in and like interrupting your vibe. And by doing that and just cutting, you know, asking these energetic cords to be severed and all um, monitoring spirits, you know, blocked and removed, uh, <clears throat> that's gonna help you yeah because there's people coming in with this seven of swords energy like spying that's the spying card and along with that um page of swords which is the knave of swords in that deck but um and with the snake on his hand like they they have some i love snakes and i don't like seeing them this way because i see them more as transformation but in this <clears throat> you know story i'm hearing like snaking you out so being the snake in the grass being sneaky and 
trying to slither around until they can bite your ankle, you know, and hurt you. And we have, so, and like I'm seeing that as like, you know, stealing from you, stealing your energy, stealing your sunshine, just killing your vibe because that makes them feel better. And we have the judgment card under that because you're awakening and you're having more better days than bad. <laughs> Obviously, when you're going through your dark night, you're like fighting for your life. <coughs> but what else we got? What else with this Lola song? This interruption, if you will. <laughs> I'm not the world's most passionate guy. Three of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Four of Wands. This is this is definitely somebody around your home, around your family. Maybe like a ex partner or someone you've lived with or your partner now. They want to like kill your vibe because you know that. Three of Cups upright is um, like celebration, being happy, like, yeah, everybody cheers. Like, you know, I'm seeing everybody high five, like, go team. Like, good friends, that type of thing. So it might be like shitty friends, <coughs> family, just trying to kill your vibe, trying to um, bring like discord to your home, gossiping, that type of stuff. So, like, just cleansing your energy and yeah with the moon card in reverse like or sorry the moon card at the bottom of the deck it's upright um that is like your intuition that's like you like absorbing like feeling this feeling them and it's actually not you like it's not not none of that is you so you're like doing <clears throat> work for people that like you don't need to be doing <laughs> work for because you can't you can't do their work for them that nothing's going to change, you know, and then it's just adding more bullshit to you. So really um, getting good at questioning, be like, is this even mine? And, you know, listening to your intuition, because I guarantee a lot of it isn't yours. So doing those grounding, you know, look up different like grounding techniques because something might, you know, catch your work resonate with you more <coughs> than what, you know, I'm saying. Like you could do the lightning rod technique where you ground your, you know, roots or whatever you feel like your body extending into the earth. And then you have like a rain, lightning rod coming out of your head and it's like you being struck by lightning and it's just like clearing everything out and like grounding, like everything going through and grounding into the earth. Another thing I'll do is like um, imagine the, um, I'll do, it's like I'm a French press because <laughs> I love coffee. <laughs> um and so I'll have like the roots coming out of me and out of my spine so like I'll do like a little meditation where I follow my whole spine from my brain to my all the way down to my uh cossacks my tailbone and then from there there's like a a root coming out of that and into the ground as well and then I do like a like I'm a french press and so all that like heavy stuff gets pushed out all the way into the earth to where it like completely leaves my body and the earth takes it from me another uh grounding technique that might help is like i'll do like i'm being like squeeze like squeeze like a wet piece of like a wet washcloth or something where you're like wringing it out and after like at each you know i start from my head and then go down like so as like this part it's like i'm being pushed through this tiny hole that only pure source can go through and, you know, after once I pass through that threshold, it's like my energy, my body is like white and it's no longer like darkened and all that dark stuff is leaving. Damn, I'm spitting all over the place. <laughs> well, I'm not the world's most masculine man, but I know what I am and I'm glad I'm a man. And so is Lola. <laughs> Lola, Lola, Lola. La 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 la. 
What's up with the okie doke? <laughs> Since that seven of swords kind of wanted to pop out there. Oh, we had a knight of swords. Knight of swords. So that's the anxiety and stuff that you were feeling. It's not yours, especially with this um, moon card. Like you're absorbing other people's anxieties, worries, emotions, that type of thing. <clears throat> Bitch, that I just fucking said it. The <laughs> seven of swords. When I looked earlier, when I showed it. It came out actually. <coughs> so we have the four of coins and um, the seven of swords. The okie doke is they're just trying to keep you because they're an unstable, um, like fractured person, hurt. Um, I just heard friable. So, and like, I, I know what friable means. Like, it's like pulling apart, but I want to look up the definition for some reason. I'm being called to do that. Friable. Meaning. Yes, definition. Oh, the medical one. Which is, that's what I was thinking of, but well, let's see here. Friable means easily broken crumbled or pulverized or marked by erosion and bleeding. It can be used to describe tissue, tumors, or mucosa. You got a friable cervix. Yeah, easily crumbled. So they don't have any like stability, collagen, you know, like anything, any of these, they, they don't have strong fibers to themselves. They have 444 on my clock. <coughs> um and so that's they want to like break down your stability or they like you're just also they may not be like consciously doing it okay I'm, i just heard yes they are wow geez <laughs> um but there are some people that just it's so unconscious with what they do that they, they just don't, they're feeling something and they don't understand. So they have like, okay, A plus B equals C. So I feel like this, so I act like this and that makes me feel better. They don't know really what they're doing. They're not thinking about other people. They're just like, I need to feel better. And that's why they're doing it. So th that projection, that energy vamping, that shit that they're doing, it's just because it, it's A plus B equals C. There's no like, um, at the core of it, there's no like trying to hurt you. It's just they need to feel better and it's their selfish act. <coughs> Instead of like having the um, knowledge, the information, the tools to work through that shit themselves or the courage even, um, they're just choosing not to. And that's what, you know, the stealing and the backstabbing and the... <laughs> The okie dokie. <laughs> the okie doking. <laughs> One more on the seven of swords, please. <clears throat> yeah, trying to slow you down. So that, that might be people seeing you like uh, moving too quickly. Ascending, like you're winning too much. You're gaining too much momentum. You've, you've got a ton of shit going on and they're like, mm, I don't like that. I'm going to backstab them. I'm going to slow them down. I'm going to, oh my bitch, I fucking said backstabbing. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck? Fucking ten of swords. <coughs> so definitely trying to come up because they don't like seeing you winning because they are doing the work to do that. I'm not the world's most passionate man. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> There's a hanged man there because they're not doing anything. They're backstabbing you because... And trying to put like a painful ending to you, to your wins, your goals, whatever, because they, they aren't doing anything with their life and that triggers them, but they don't realize that that's why there's no connection of the wire. The wires aren't crossing. They aren't making a, they're not grounding if you will. <laughs> and so they're not, there's no circuit going through and you know, there's not this understanding of, okay, I'm jealous i'm triggered because this person is doing better than me when i because i'm not doing anything 
with that hanged man. <coughs> Did not see it going that way. We have the Queen of Swords um, upright at the bottom of the deck. So that's, once again, using your intuition to cut through the bullshit and, like, cut the shit off. Like, sever these ties, sever the snakes, sever these energetic cords, and do it frequently. Fuck, you can't do it enough, you know? Um, I am gonna pull a, uh, an element to see what what we can get. Yeah. Right. Hopefully that's not too obnoxious. <laughs> Ooh, pink. What is that one? Ast Astatine? I had to use I have to use my <laughs> my reference here. <laughs> We're all learning. Okay. Let's learn, huh? So pink, it, um, that's telling me self-love. Self-love for sure. So you need to give yourself lots of romance, self-love. Um, you know, talk to yourself like you would to a, how you would treat a partner. Be like, damn, baby, what's up? You want me to make you a meal? What's up? Like, <laughs> let me get that for you. Like talk you hit on yourself um give yourself you know that you're incredible you're doing a good job you know if you're not hearing that from other people do that for yourself and if you're not hearing it you're doing a great job you're hot as hell and damn shorty what's up turn around let me see that ass <laughs> so we have the number 85 the number 2 8 18 32 18 7 and we have 209 point Nine eight seven. <clears throat> Astatine. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Astatine is a radioactive chemical element. So we're going radioactive, bitch. Um, with the symbol AT and atomic number eighty five. Considered the rarest naturally occurring element on Earth due to its very short half life. It is classified as a halogen and produced by bombarding bismuth with alpha particles. The name astatine comes from the Greek word astatos. Astatos? Uh, fuck, I don't even know how to pronounce that. My bad, y'all. <laughs> it's A-S-T-A-T-O-S, -A meaning unstable. Bitch. What I say, these fucking friable ass people, these <laughs> unstable people, there's no collagen there's nothing holding it together <coughs> extremely rare due to its short half-life only trace amounts of acetine exist naturally on earth radioactive all isotopes of the acetine are are radioactive halogen group acetine belongs to the halogen group on the periodic table alongside fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine Acetine was discovered in 1940. It is typically produced in a lab by bombarding bismuth with alpha particles. Hmm, it was showing up green in the little pictures of it. Radioactive chemical elements and the heaviest member of the halogen elements or group 17 of the periodic table. Acetine, which has no stable isotopes, oh shit, was the first synthetically produced in 1994 at the University of California by American physicist Dale R. Hmm. Fuck yeah. <coughs> Interesting. As acetine behaves similarly to iodine, it gets secreted in the thyroid gland. The fuck? Hence, it's used for treating diseases related to the thyroid. The isotope called acetine 211 is utilized in the process of radiotherapy. It is also employed in the treatment of cancer as it is known to destroy cancer-causing cells. So, <clears throat> this is like such a toxic... 
um, intense radioactive element that like you can take on is like not using vibrating so high and knowing that like you're like agitating these people and like seeing it like alchemizing that into being like fuck yeah that shows that I'm you know vibing high and I'm not gonna let that affect me um you know it's like you killing the cancer cells you killing that bad energy that with your light so using that radioactive energy that intense <laughs> to break down um things that shouldn't be there what else that's very interesting and with it being the thyroid that's like throat chakra so <coughs> using your voice to um stick up for yourself and give yourself self-love um set boundaries you um sharing your opinions or you know just asserting boundaries uh with people like no fuck off or you know using your voice when you get into that state or like start feeling that anxiety and all that stuff and use it to be like no a be gone thought you know <laughs> use that uh, use your throat chakra use that because you know my experience and my research is like with the when you have like thyroid problems which uh from my last toxic relationship where I wasn't allowed to you know speak my everything that I said was wrong or abusive or you know whatever I was mean I I was harsh how I spoke all that stuff um that actually caused me thyroid problems and <clears throat> I had to get on thyroid medication because it I wasn't able to speak my truth I wasn't able to be myself verbally and that caused me thyroid problems so that um you know that with that spiritual stuff i have 455 on my clock like go full bore into it go take a chance go um say what you need to say to these people and not be afraid of the conflict that follows it because you have that light you're radioactive you're supposed to put an end to these cancerous cells these cancerous people the you know these karmic people you're supposed to get away from that put an end to that and so don't be afraid of like the conflict or you know what might transpire if you stick up for yourself um you deserve you know self-love with that pink you deserve to be happy you deserve to be in a good connection and not having to absorb people's bullshit so grounding speaking your truth asserting boundaries cutting those energetic cords and asking those monitoring spirits to be removed we have the seven of cups dream big and follow that dream and if somebody tries to come around and like steal your sunshine with that ten of pentacles in reverse put their ass in place speak your truth and give yourself self-love <clears throat> And I'm seeing this with the Seven of Pentacles. In time, this will all like like work itself out. If you're like, you know, you speak your truth against like your family and be like, I don't like the way you fucking treat me. It'll sort itself out. Whether them that's them, you know, completely being pushed out of your life or them changing. It it'll it'll work itself out in due time. You know, it's on their timeline. But just know that it'll work itself out. You don't have to worry. But don't fold to their bullshit. They're silent treatment you know all those narcissistic te traits of testing and playing games like don't play don't fall into that stay strong in your own self and that's self-love all right babies i hope you have a wonderful day i love you so much thank you for being here thank you for all your donations i really do appreciate it you make my day and you make me feel so important and i appreciate it thank you babes bye i love you